Hi there, this is Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com here with match number two with the updated list of Hell's Lookout. We won the die roll, yes we'd like to play first, and whoa, this is just horrible. We are mulling like a champ this game. Uh, decent, decent hand if we can draw on just one more source. Uh, we can cast everything if we... If we do get a red, this becomes an extremely good, uh, extremely good hand. But I do believe I have to mulligan this, and this is a better hand by far. Uh, definitely have the the nuts if I draw into another land. So I'm liking this. He has to go down to five. He has to go down to four, maybe. Nope, he keeps his hand with five. So that's fine. We'll put up noble. First turn noble can't go wrong with it. And second turn, we can Lightning Maul it up, or we can pray for a land. So another Hinterland Harbor, maybe we're going against the same guy. I can't remember his name. All right, so this changes our plan big time. We are definitely not going to pair the Lightning Mauler. We're going to pair it next turn. And hopefully we'll be out of reach with drawing a lot of cards. Hinterland Harbor makes me think he doesn't have a better land to play. And so, okay, and no, we will not slow down this. And next turn, Tandem Lookout will hopefully draw us a shit ton of cards. By that, I mean two cards. Hey, don't you be putting out a blocker? A young wolf. Well, that just ruins my plan. That just ruins my plan big time. I gotta go like this, and I gotta go like this, and I gotta go like this. So you don't get an undying trigger. Yeah, get out of there, young wolf. Okay, he's gonna... Oh, come on, dude. What is up with that? Ah, rapid hybridization. I should have seen that coming. Well, son of a... Son of a gun. We'll say that. It's a family show, right? It's a family show, RogueDeckBuilder.com. Can't remember what I've... What I call this. What is my average? I think my average viewer is, is 24 to 30 or something like that. So, all right. What is this nonsense? Am I going to give this another bant? A bant. All right. Just swing in with everything. Do it. Do it. Don't have another rapid-hybridization, does he? You, but we're going to take some damage. No rapid-hybridization. No rapid-hybridization. Let's no rapid hybridization. Everyone cheer for no rapid hybridization. Okay. Yes, you'd like to use this ability. Uh, we'd like to soulbound with the lightning mars. Sure, why not? Yes, we need to soulbound because he gets haste. Okay. Begin attack. Begin the swing ins. And no rapid hybridization. He doesn't have two of them, does he? Oh my god. This game. Alright, we're going on to the next game. The double hybridization hand <laughs> kills me with perfect, perfect, perfect draws. So is a static caster will come in. Ral's Eric's are too slow in this. I mean, they, they really can. Boros Reckoner is the biggest speed bump ever. Uh, Hidden String, Museum Skin, Sleep. No, they're, they're definitely not. Well, Sleep can come in. Sleep can definitely come in. I don't know if these Tandem Lookout combination is actually good in this matchup we're just going to try to go more of a control feel and well maybe we do want it maybe we want one of each or oh da, 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 da. we we want unsummons so unsummons are very good in this in this I, i'll i don't know spectral flights are very good to get on this judge's familiar is kind of poor so we'll we'll put in a lightning molar and a tandem lookout or maybe just double tandem lookout and one like yeah okay so we'll, we'll play it like this Yes, I'd like to play first. Mold to five and still kicked my butt with the stupid hybridizations here. So he's mulling again. We've got decent mold to five. All right, so if we can't win this one, I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry. But we, we've got a very, very, very strong hand here with the Searing Spears. And everything in his deck has Undying. It's very... So he's going to go Young Wolf again with his rapidhybridizations.com. I might end up having to loot here to try to... Nope, that's fine. We're, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay. So you're attacking with the young wolf. Fine. And you know what? I may loot here. The voice of resurgence. Ugh. Alright, I'm going to loot. And we are going to get rid of the Stromkirk Noble and a Searing Spear. And there's the Sleep. So we need to set up a Sleep combo. 
Um, let's see, we got nothing that we can actually play here. So maybe, maybe the, the right play wasn't to get rid of Stromkirk. Maybe it was Double Searing Spear that we get rid of. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna end up playing this this steam vents. And I think what we do right now, no, we want we want card advantage with the Snapcaster Mage. I hope I just don't get beat down. I mean, it's a pretty cool deck. Everything in this deck has like Undying. Holy rest in peace says hi to this deck. Uh, but he's down to 16 from just shocking himself. The Rancor is a bit of a problem. Down to 14, but Hellrider, hopefully... Uh, he's still got those rapid hybridizations. I've... Uh, no, you don't have one in your hand, do you? I mean, I guess I could go Snapcaster Mage, Searing Spear. No, Snapcaster Mage... No, we go Hellrider here. What? A spell rupture. <laughs> Ugh. We are so dead. Cool deck. Really cool deck. The voice. Young Wolf everything. I just can't do anything here. I need a pillar. I need a pillar for this voice. A, a pillar would be great, because a pillar... Oh, Geist in this deck, too, huh? Pillar would be awesome, because it gets me... Yeah, we're just dead. I need that pillar. I have to Snapcaster 4, 5, 6, 7... We have to, we have to somehow Snapcaster... Is it Charm here to try to find a pillar? And no pillar, so next turn I'm going to be forced to sleep. we got to get rid of the mountain. I'm going to get rid of the Searing Spear and the mountain here. And we're going to be taking five. Oh, we're going to be taking nine. That's nine. We're, we're dead. So, yep, we are dead. Mole's a five, and he's got a great hand. No pillars here. Pillars are really the only thing. I guess I get to sleep to try to find into it. But, yeah, the Boros Reckoners and Pillars just did not show up for us. Uh, very cool deck. I like his deck a lot. It's kind of like the deck we just faced, but it's more resilient with Young Wolves, Voice Resurgence. I'm thinking this is also kind of an enchantment deck. You can have a few enchantments in here. Everything he has is very... Either has Hexproof or gets a dude back or comes back alive and then the rapt hybridizations but i mean talk about the perfect draws that he drew both games mulling to five against my i mean he had the spell rupture that game he had double rapid hybridizations before the game i do like my matchup versus this as the pillars will just uh overwhelm him i'm thinking um and eventually my dudes like i said will just get card advantage and be able to I don't know. Maybe maybe I do have a bad matchup here. I just think the Boros Reckoners really just put me over the top against this matchup, and cards like Sleep can actually win me the game. Anyway, this is Kevin with, with RogueDeckBuilder.com. We'll go on to match number three. Thanks for watching.